Hello, hello, Hempers. So today we are going to switch gears a little bit and we always talk about the benefits of hemp, how it helps with soil, um, how do we utilize cover crops for weed control as well as um, maintaining the soil, not allowing the topsoil to blow away, things like that. So we are big about sustainability and taking care of our soil because it takes care of us. I am with Kathy Rondo and Side note, she takes all of our pictures for South Bend, so this this is her gig. But this is her main job is with the Pawnee County Conservation District. They have a very neat machine here at the Great Bend Farm and Ranch Expo. And so I'm gonna let her talk a little bit about what this machine does, how it can show you and be an educational tool. So if this is something that you'd like to have her come talk about, tune in. So here you go. Hi, Hampers. Um, this is called the Augmented Reality Sandbox. It's available through any conservation district in any county in the state of Kansas. And we use it as an educational tool so we can show people how rainfall and just the slope of the ground and everything affects their crops and what things could be possible if you're in an area that has high rain or washout or whatever. So first of all, it it shows us the topography of the area. So, so if, you, if they're kind of new and maybe it's been a few years since they've had a school class, what is topography? Topography is how high, basically the elevation of the ground. So if you had a great big hill on your ground and you're wanting to farm this ground, you get rid of all the water. <laughs> Um, you may need to put some terraces, some waters, possibly some flat channels. There's lots of things that can be done to make this better ground so you don't have the erosion and some of those issues. So you could put in, like if you had this hill here, you could contour farm so that as when it gets ready to rain, you come down and you contour farm this whole field. So when it rains, it slows the water down. So instead of just rushing down this hill, farming in rows will slow that water down. Now, another thing you can do is you make terraces, which are deeper. And terraces usually run into a waterway. A lot of times at the end of the field, you may have a waterway running in your pond. So then when it rains, the water stays in your terraces, which is kind of running away on me a little bit. But it'll be in your terraces, and then instead of flooding your field, it'll come over to the waterway, it'll come down, and eventually you'll get into your pit. And, yet, and a lot of them don't need pits. But this, this is really cool. A lot of kids don't play in um, mud puddles anymore. They don't get this kind of thing. So, and city kids don't know what runoff and stuff is and how it affects our environment and everything else. So this gives us a fun way to teach people. Um, so there's so many things we can do. The other day a whole bunch of kids were in here. And they were playing with it. And they decided they wanted to make a volcano. So they made this volcano, and then when they made it rain, they pretended it was lava. Well, all of a sudden they saw how the lava was going to flow off of this volcano. So it, it will show you how water flows, which is really cool. Like, a lot of times in the waterways, you see them to slow the water down a little bit, and it also filters it as it's coming down. So that, and even on some of the terraces, we'll plant sometimes just to help filter and slow the rate of uh, moving water. So you said farmers, you can actually pull up real fields. Yeah. We can actually take an aerial um, in the USDA office, one of our maps, and we can send it to the computer inside the sandbox 
and then it will the look like an aerial on top of here of that piece of ground. Then we can actually yeah, yeah. look at that piece oh, of ground geez, and say, you've got this going on uh, here, and this unloaded. issue here, this is a going here. And we can show them that by adding, um, whether it's flat channels or regular terraces like I showed you earlier, <laughs> and I'm glad how we can make the ground more productive. Once I got out of the we can't throw cut screens or turn or anything like that. Cool. So, how can we find you? All right. Anything else you want to add? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Kathy, for showing us the sandbox. I was in here playing yesterday, and I was like, I need to get this out to my hippers. Um, you guys know we're all about sustainability. We're all about taking care of our ground. We are farmers, we are for farmers, and taking care of the land that provides to you is extremely important for what we do. So if you have any questions, drop them below. If not, I will talk to you later. You can always find us at SouthBendIndustrialHemp.com or this Facebook page. So talk to you later, bye.